intersection improvement and at Gornto. Okay. Um, that's a total of $5 million. I'm not having trouble imagining what you could do for $5 million in that one block. I mean, like, do you have to buy the new McDonald's that they're building? I mean, what are we doing there? I do not know the specifics of the, what the design is going to be. And a lot of these projects, there has been no design work done. This is an estimate that we have produced. Those projects are at those intersections only. Um, and like, are you going to bury the utilities? I mean, what there's a project that says improve the, improve the intersection. What are we going to do there? It would generally improve the operations of that intersection, safety of the turning movements at, the, at those intersections, um, and make sure... How would we find out? ...capacity at those intersections. I mean, if I look on that in the big booklet, does it say what they're going to do? In these uh, larger books, yes, that are placed at the tables, we do have a brief description of what is going to be done, um, and more looking at what <coughs> purpose these projects meet according to the criteria of that the regional roundtable selected previously. So all that information is in these books for every project. Okay. I'm probably going to be told to shout out my name, Troy Taylor. I've been to Florida this past week. They charge six or seven percent more. Per gallon, per gallon. And gas is the same price when I left Jacksonville Pride and Motor as I was up here. Now the roads are better, they have no state income now. But yet, and when they start a road down there, they finish. Now I want some property there. I get back here and make revenue. I don't know the answers. I know we have an income tax, I know where gas is tax to go up, I know the government. 1% was supposed to be put on last week when we told it. I know our government stopped it. I don't know if it was popular or whatever. But the people who use the gas should pay the taxes. We've got a little lady that comes to our meetings. She can't even drive her car. We bring her in in a wheelchair. She's worked hard all her life, and she has the right to be at that with other meetings. She's going to have to pay this 1% on the groceries she buys, the clothes she buys, her electricity, whatever that she buys in her house. Now, if this is a fair tax, y'all can tell me to go to hell if you want to. Okay? And I'm going to spend $5,000 in every one of these 18 counties putting up a sign to defeat it. And I appreciate you inviting me.